we'll have a chance to plant this cat on the floor. Uh, it looks like it's on a hardwood floor here. And maybe this is a table leg or a chair or something over here. And uh, I wouldn't put that in, but you know, that's up to you to experiment. Um, I like all the opportunities we have to, again, show depth, uh, dimension, and even down to the simplest groove in this floor, we have a chance to have something again end, and we can't see it anymore because the cat is blocking our view. And also, we can see how light works. You can see this, maybe I need to get a little closer here, and and look and see that we can use how light works very well here as it gets darker and darker as it goes to where there's less light. And also, this brighter highlight in here is tapering down and getting narrower and narrower as well until finally there's not much of it. But there's still dimension to this groove. So little tiny things like that that we can do and putting a drop shadow underneath uh, and allowing ourselves to let him be attached to something or uh, be supported by the floor. Uh, if you don't put a drop shadow on this, it would tend to not really communicate what we would like to communicate. Um, and it's one of the things you'll see me suggesting every so often over on the uh, community, whether it's a tire to a car, uh, the drop shadow helps uh, attach it to the pavement. Uh, the cat or the dog, whatever, or the, or the babies or in a lap or whatever. This is why I like to be able to have that drop shadow and encourage you to really pay attention to how light works again because you'll see this gets darker as it goes to where there's less light. And if you follow those rules, instead of just doing a band or making these uh, shadows all the same all the way through, you can also uh, know by putting this drop shadow on here, that there is dimension to the cat. And so when we see more darkness under here, it's because there's a little bit more separation between the cat and the floor, where this part is actually just about touching. It's, it's just resting on the floor. So there's very little space there. There is some, though, and we want to be able to show that. But these are some of the things that even if there wasn't a shadow, you might be able to take uh, on your own the... Uh, the, just the the common sense or the logic and say, you know, I want to show there's a little more dimension. I can see this is curved. I think I'll make a wider shadow there and uh, and not just have it be a band. So uh, I don't know what your response is because I can't see the chat at the same time, but I hope that um, you'll really enjoy uh, this experience. And uh, there's a lot of repetition to the uh, cat hairs, but the thing is it also gives us practice. It's kind of like the sphere. Uh, the sphere is a tedious exercise. There's a lot of strokes in it, but when you get finished, if you've really been patient, then you have those, uh, those uh, uh, tapered strokes that are structured in a certain way. You have a chance to really uh, embed them in your mind and your uh, mechanics are gonna be much better by this sheer repetition. And so we're also gonna look at the fact that uh, this is really the same as a human. Uh, in a lot of ways, there's some things that we will do different, but what is happening here is your pencil strokes cannot represent the hair. So we're going to have to, again, create something very similar to what we did with Mulligan Man's beard, but we want to be able to make sure that our minds are reading this as darker recesses in between even the light hairs. Now, when we get over in the dark, it's exactly the same thing. It's just a different set of values. And so we want to make sure that we're showing something deeper in between the hairs and not uh, have white spaces in between that are making it look like it's white down in the, in the uh, next to the skin. Um, and that's pretty much the trick of having the successful hair uh, besides being able to uh, understand how to, what to draw, uh, how to utilize your brush and all these things. Uh, there's a lot of hair here. Uh, but we can also speed it up quite a bit by using our brush, just like we do for hair in most instances.